Jonas Vingigor and Tade Pogaccia. Across 21 stages, the pair helped produce a Tour de France for the ages. The race started in Vingegaard's homeland, Denmark, with him looking to avenge his second place finish to Pogaccia last year. After a surprise win in the prologue for Belgian Yves Lampard, his compatriot Wout van Aert wrestled the overall race lead off him and kept it until stage six, where Pogaccia took first. It's good to have yellow jersey. It gives uh, also confidence, motivation for everybody in the team. Uh, yellow jersey is uh, something uh, you, you cannot say no. And uh, you ride every day with, uh, with uh, pride and with, uh, with a smile on the face. Of course, it looks strong, but yeah, I mean, uh, I, I also believe in myself, and uh, I believe my strength is in the second and the third week and uh, in the in the high mountains. So hopefully, I can uh, I can be up there with him. Another Pagacha triumph on stage seven meant a third straight Tour de France win looked on the cards for the Slovenian. Vingegaard, however, was biding his time. Having looked impervious for so long, Pogaccia cracked on stage 11. After fending off early attacks from Vingigor's Jumbo Visma teammates, Pogaccia once again came under pressure, this time from the Dane himself. Vingigor surged up the slopes of the Col de Granon, beating his rival by almost three minutes and donning yellow for the first time ever. We made a plan from, from the start of the day and we wanted to make a, a super hard race. It's really incredible. It's hard for me to put words on. Uh, yeah. This is what I dreamt of. A game of cat and mouse ensued over the following week. And despite losing out to Pogaccia on stage 17, Vingigor maintained his overall advantage. The next day, however, Pogaccia's hopes all but disappeared. With sportsmanship still very much on show, the Dane dropped him on the final climb up Otakam to claim the stage victory and extend his lead beyond three minutes. Today, uh, Jumbo was so strong. I tried, I, I went all in for, uh, for the yellow, but... Uh, yeah, to, today the best man won. Come the penultimate stage, Pogaccia needed a miracle and Vingigor almost provided it. A misjudged downhill bend nearly cost him. But he held on, beating the Slovenian to all but seal the win. It means everything. It's, it's really... Uh, it's really incredible. Uh, it's hard for me to, to put words on it. It's... Uh, yeah, it's the biggest within cycling, and yeah, we did it. Time even to raise a toast. The final run along the cobbles of the Champs Elysees was a leisurely cruise for Jumbo Visma. Pogaccia second to the supreme Vinigor. Cycling's next great rivalry, though, has only just begun.